Alrighty, 834 now and in this morning's Family First, we're talking about financial planning, specifically making sure your family is protected if you die. Now, one of the ways you can do that is by making a will. And as Fox 61's Matt Scott shares, some advice from an attorney on what people can do before it's too late. I think most people don't have their financial affairs in order until they're forced to. Since death isn't exactly predictable, what can you do while you're still alive to ensure that your estate is passed on to your children? Be honest, have you even thought about it? According to attorney Renee Bauer, most people don't. So many, so many people come when it's too late or they're at that point where there's some life event happening that forces them to have to deal with it. As an attorney who runs the Happy Even After law firm in Hamden, she deals primarily in divorce work, but with or without marriage, having a firm game plan for your finances is essential. Why is it important for parents to have a will uh, when there's children involved? Because if you don't, what happens is somebody else makes the decisions as to what's in your kid's best interest. And who you think might be appropriate as a guardian may not be the person who the court thinks is appropriate. And who that person is can lead to other issues that also remain on the table, like when the money gets doled out to your kids. We see it all of the time that if someone leaves and they don't have a plan in place, they don't have any sort of estate planning, they haven't expressed what they actually want, you see family members rise to the occasion to fight with each other. And everyone has a different idea about what's in the kid's best interest. Bauer admits it's not a happy conversation, but it's a necessary one. We need to pay attention to this before it becomes a problem for someone else that we leave behind. This is the thing that becomes really easy to neglect and not think about. And creating a will or having an estate plan or talking about what happens if something were to happen to you when your kids are minors or even adults is the thing that we do not want to do. Yeah, it's definitely something I think, you know, families need to plan for. Some people, wink, wink, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Privet, um, have kind of been putting it on the back burner, but I've been encouraging them to go ahead and get it started. Yes, and they have no excuse because I'm about 10 years younger than them. <laughs> I have my will, my there wife, and we decided to get it done. You're right, it's just, it's not fun to think about. Yeah. It's uh, obviously if you're getting your affairs in order, you're not necessarily going to see the benefit from it right. outside of peace of mind. So there's not a lot of incentive for people who don't want to have to think about their own impending death yeah. someday to yeah. do it. But you've got to do it. I mean, if you love your loved ones, do it because it's amazing how many problems it can cause mm -hmm. if it's not there. Mm -hmm. Then the infighting starts if there's any sort of inheritance going on. And even if not, just the paperwork you have to go through, from what I understand, is unbelievable. Right, right. So so think about my peace of mind, mom and dad. There you go. <laughs> Come on, get it done. Are they watching? Uh, my dad. I think my dad's up. Well, he I might guess be we'll watching. Find out if, you have the... if I get a text message. <laughs> yeah, ding, ding, ding. Uh oh. <laughs> Stephanie said too much. <laughs> All right.